Hi everyone, welcome back to our Great Trunk RFID channel. Today, we're gonna dive into part two of the complete RFID asset tracking solution. Previously, we went over part one of how to choose the best RFID tag. Today, in part two, we're gonna be discussing the Bluetooth RFID readers, specifically the TSL 1128 and the Zebra RFD 8500. These two parts are critical in collecting the RFID tag information. And as you'll see later on in this video, we'll go over a review of both the readers and how they connect to our mobile device and then ultimately lead into part three of how it works with the RFID asset tracking software. Stay tuned as we dive into these two Bluetooth RFID readers. All right, let's get into it. Let's first review the three main parts of the RFID mobile asset tracking solution. First, you have the RFID tags, which we already discussed in part one of our series. The link in the description is below. You then have the Bluetooth RFID readers, also known as RFID sleds. And then you have a mobile device, either an iOS operating system or an Android operating system. The Bluetooth RFID handheld readers will connect to your mobile device via Bluetooth, much like any um, headphones that you might put uh, connect to your, to your mobile device to listen to music or whatever it may be. Uh, it's very similar technology of how that works. So, ba so basically how this all comes together, the RFID tag is applied to the asset, the Bluetooth handheld reader scans the RFID tag, and then the software or the app on your mobile device will then interpret the data. We're first gonna take a closer look at the TSL 1128 Bluetooth RFID handheld reader. This device breaks down into three separate parts. As you can see here, you have the pistol grip, you have the battery or the power supply, and then you have the RFID antenna. This device is very simple. It connects together there, and then the antenna snaps on to the front. This device also only has one button. It's the trigger. So to power it on, you push the trigger. To do any scanning, you hold down the trigger to scan. This device will also automatically shut off after a period of time when you are not using it. The performance of this reader is very strong um, in comparison to other Bluetooth RFID readers that we have tested. Um, in, in comparison to capturing the tag um, from a distance, so um, the performance is very strong on it. Um, I would say that this reader is one of the most basic readers out there as far as the Bluetooth. It does a great job of collecting the data um, and as far as performance as well. The one thing I will say is it's maybe not as durable as the other reader that we will um, take a look at. This device will come with other um, accessories as well in case you wanted to maybe attach your um, mobile device to the top of it. A lot of our customers currently, how they use it, they hold the, the mobile device in one hand and scan with the other. So it's really up to you. If you do want to attach the, the mobile device to the top of it, um, there are accessories out there that, that help with that. The next device we're gonna get into is the Zebra RFD8500. This device has a few more buttons. Um, there's a function button on the side here, which changes from the barcode scanner um, to the RFID scanner, if there was an imager on the reader. Uh, this device does not have a barcode scanner on it. Um, there's also the Bluetooth connectivity button, which you would hold down to connect to your mobile device. And then there's a power button here on the side, which has different levels of, uh, or different lights, LED lights to display um, certain things such as if the if it's charging or if the battery is going dead if it's fully charged 
Um, so there's a couple different things with the LED light that this device will display. And then there's also a mini USB port here for charging. On the top, you can see there's a simple battery cover with the battery um, included here. The battery simply snaps in and snaps out and the case goes on top like that. In the front here is the um, antenna. So you can see that this device um, definitely has a few more buttons on it. Um, the trigger here is the yellow button here. Uh, you simply pull the trigger to perform any scans. Also notice that this bridge between the antenna and the, and the pistol grip here adds a little bit more durability in my opinion um, in case you were to drop it. Um, it has a little bit more support, so it feels a little sturdier in the hand compared to the TSL 1128. Both of these readers, um, when testing the uh, Metalcraft RFID asset tags um, for both on metal and off metal, perform almost identical. So if we had a asset that was tagged about 20 feet away, both of these would pick up that asset. Um, so the performance as far as the read range is almost identical. We really can't see any differences in that. The, the main difference that you'll see between these two readers is the simplicity of the TSL 1128 and more of the complexity of the Zebra RFD 8500. Um, just with the more buttons um, and it's a little bit more durable as well. So if you want something a little bit more on the economical side that will get the job done, uh, definitely the TSL 1128 is a great option for you. Um, but if you were looking for something a little bit more com complex or something a little sturdier and more durable, definitely the Zebra RFD 8500 is a great route to go. The final thing we are going to cover today is how to connect the Bluetooth RFID readers to your mobile device and more specifically to the Graytrunk RFID mobile apps. So you can begin scanning your RFID tags. We're going to go to the Bluetooth area and we're going to make sure here on the device that the Bluetooth button on this Zebra RFD8500 is blinking blue. Then we'll go to our screen and we'll see that the RFD8500 with a bunch of numbers, which is the serial number for this device, is here. We'll click on it, we'll simply pull the trigger, you'll hear the beep, and then it is connected. We'll then jump into our Grey Trunk RFID app. Here when we go to the My Devices, it'll automatically connect the device because it's already connected um, through the, the mobile device's settings. So you can see that this device here has 85% battery life. It gives a bunch of um, information such as the serial number, the model number, and a bunch of other numbers that um, will, will help us troubleshoot in case there are any issues. Uh, but we will then dive into how to perform a scan. Uh, so this is sort of the exciting part of it. You'll see here that we have a, a the Zebra RFD8500 connected here at the top, so we'll choose that option. We'll choose to do an inventory scan, and we'll dive into more of this, um, of the software and the mobile apps later on in part three, which is gonna be released in a couple weeks. Uh, but we'll, we'll show you here just how to perform a scan using the RFID readers. So we're gonna choose our site Arc Business Systems at the Great Trunk office. We're gonna say, hey, I wanna do a scan. Our reader power is set all the way to the top. So you can change power of the reader here. So if you don't want to read tags from a far distance, you can, you can turn this down if needed to a lower level. So then you are really um, shortening the read distance of the reader between the tag. We'll set it all the way up to the top here. At this location, it says that I have 50 assets, but basically all I'm gonna do now is pull the trigger on the RFID reader. Obviously, I have a few hundred tags right here on this roll, um, so I will capture a lot. I have tags all over this office, so I'm going to show you here on the screen. I'm simply going to pull the trigger, and you can see how fast we are scanning these tags. So within a matter of a few seconds, you can see the power of RFID. 
We scanned 311 tags within about five seconds there. Um, and then later on in part three, I'll show you what happens when you hit this complete scan button and show you the inventory audit of the, the found, the missing, the misplaced, and any new assets or new RFID tags that we scanned. So there's a little teaser for you. You're gonna have to hang around to see more in-depth uh, discussion and demonstration of the RFID software. Uh, but I hope this helped you understand the Bluetooth RFID handheld readers, um, more specifically the Zebra RFD8500 and the TSL1128 Bluetooth sleds. We hope to see you next time for part three as we're gonna take a deep dive demonstration into the Gray Trump RFID asset tracking software. Until next time, we'll see you then.